Hello. Today's inspiration came from a picture by Picasso. He painted a rooster that was kind of funny looking. It's called the Picasso-ish rooster. You will need white construction paper, pencil, eraser, light colored chalk, water paints, water, and a paintbrush. Step one, draw your Picasso-ish rooster. You can stop the video anytime you need to. First choose the head or body shape you want to do. You can make up your own. Then choose the tail and feathers and then choose your wings. Once you've done that, choose your crown and beak and your waddle. The last things you'll be choosing are the eyes, legs, and feet. Here are some samples that I've already drawn up. There are two pages of six. Here's my rooster that I'm drawing today for purposes of showing you what to do. I've added the details on the face. Now I'm doing the tail. You'll see that I did my wing one of the last things because I know I'm going to have to erase some parts and it's easier to do the tail first before you add the wing. Step two, outline with the light colored chalk. If you don't have chalk, Leave lines about a quarter inch thick where your pencil lines are. If you're using crayons, you do not need to do this step. You'll just make sure that you're leaving a quarter inch border on all your pencil lines. Make your lines nice and thick. These color lines will disappear when we paint with the black water paint at the very end of the project. We're using a light color so it does not mix too badly with our oil pastels. Step three, color your rooster using oil pastels. If you do not have oil pastels, you can use crayons as well. Quick tip, at some point you will need to tear some paper off of your oil pastel. Only take a tiny piece off at a time. The first color I will use is white. Any parts you want to remain white must be colored white or it will be black at the end. When you're coloring your rooster, you're going to make sure your oil pastels are really thick. You can mix your colors and also follow the pattern of the direction of the feathers that they would grow. Really make sure you're getting it nice and thick and all the way up to the chalk. It's okay if a little bit of chalk mixes in with your oil pastels. Most of mine I'm adding a little bit of white in there so it gives a little bit of a texture pattern on my rooster. Now that we're done with our rooster, we're going to be coloring the background. Remember we talked about analogous colors. Those are colors that are beside each other on the color wheel. I want you to choose three analogous colors that are a little bit different than your rooster. My rooster had a lot of green, blue, and yellow in it, so I did not want to choose that. I chose more reds, oranges, and yellows. I'm now coloring little bits and I'm not filling it in completely with the red and the yellow and the orange. I'm scattering my colors around my rooster. Next step is to take white. You're going to color all the way on top of the background really thick with white. It's going to blend some of your colors in a little bit, but it's going to also fill in a lot of your spots. Any parts that you do not color in with the oil pastels will be black at the end of the project. So make sure you fill in completely what you want to. Step five, using watery black water paint, we're gonna paint over the whole picture, even the rooster. And we will also dab it with a paper towel after we've painted a little section. I start by adding black paint and a lot of water to the lid on the water paints. If I'm not happy with how dark it is, I can also add a little more black to it. I'm going to paint a section and then pat it with the towel. This takes some of the paint off of the oil pastel, but leaves it on the places where it had the chalk and the white paper. As you notice as you're doing it, the chalk is going to start disappearing. It's just going to mix in with the black water. By adding this watery black paint, it's kind of giving it a batikish, antique look to the picture. When you're done, let it dry, and this is what you'll end up with. 
a Picasso-ish rooster.